And gamers here. We're in Chorlog eleven. That is right. Chorlog number eleven is finally here. Long awaited, always demanded. Aiden and I are standing out here just looking at all these hungry ladies that are just chomping through the food. We actually recorded Chorlog eleven. When Aiden? When did we record it? We did, we did it last night, and Aiden's whole video got corrupted, and it was just crazy. So I ended up not having his view, and we ended up doing a bunch of really monotonous stuff that I think we've seen before, and what I did do that was new, we kind of need to do more of today. So once his video came back corrupted, I said, let's just go ahead and redo it, and try to get to doing some of the more interesting stuff that we we're wanting to do anyway. So... We are here. We are at the farm. We had a big demand on our grain yesterday. It has been two or three days since the last chore log in game days, of course. I bet you guys wish that they were every two to three days. <laughs> Aiden's having a seizure over here. But uh, we basically uh, had a great demand on all of our canola and all of our wheat. And we sold everything that we had except a tiny bit of wheat for the uh, chickens and what else did we do we, we sold a bunch of our equipment off um, we'll head over to the main yard in a second here and have a look at what's going on over there I'm a little bit scatterbrained since like I said we just recorded an entire chore log yesterday and now here we are doing again but I think we're gonna have much better footage for you today we have an empty barn over here and I am very tempted to go ahead and sell this for the only reason that I really don't need to have a lot of hay and straw lying around. We've been kind of picking up the straw and dumping it directly into the mixing stations. Uh, since we can do that, as well as dumping it right in the trough. And you can see here, we are totally out of straw. And we have nothing growing in the fields right now. So we're going to have to get super busy. And of course, since we sold all of our wheat, we're definitely putting wheat in. And I may not be doing any more canola uh, right now. We might do a field or two, but we have a mess in the bale shed, thanks to somebody. We had it all picked up last night, and he went ahead and uh, decided to kind of undo it. I think if we hit B, we can load those up. And uh, well, that was bizarre. Oh, okay, now it's... Just taking a little bit. Um, we're trying to keep our stuff a little bit more organized. Just pick them up like that. He loves to knock the bales over. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're, we're really... And we it really doesn't matter with the way that I am doing... Uh, you know, doing our little operation here. As far as having hay and straw mixed, it's not a really, really big deal. Because what we end up doing is dropping it over here, and then I have a blade. Uh, I think these mixing stations were in the last episode. I'm not 100%. I think I might only had one. Uh, honestly, can't remember, but we've got three in here now. I've kind of repositioned. I've moved them over so that they're, uh, you have more room for backing in. But uh, right now, I've been just dumping the piles, and then you've got just enough room to drive the truck on this side. And I could fit another station here, but this is kind of where I swing out so I can get in get out semi. Um, probably really only need two, since I'm only going to probably go to a thousand uh, head of cattle. Right now we're at uh, 300, and this is obviously overkill. One would be enough, two would be plenty, but I wanted to have three for the 1,000, and I'm really tempted to go ahead and probably sell this off, but we'll we'll hang on to it for right now. The reason that you, uh, we've got these fences here is to protect the controls, but also I was dumping bales of hay uh, in a pile, and then I was using the JCB, or any tractor for that matter, with a three-point on the front, and this awesome blade to push the, <laughs> looks like a snow blade, it's a silage blade, I think it's really for compacting silage, uh, but, but I was using that to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, push the bales up and down and then the triggers would grab the bales the straw and the hay didn't matter if they were mixed and uh, When they were full they wouldn't take no more So you just keep pushing them back and forth until they're all full It's kind of a lazy way of doing it 
And I think, uh, honestly, it's probably easier just to back the hay the, uh, the straw and hay wagon, the, the bale picker upper, right up and just dump directly in. So that's probably what we're going to do in the future. But uh, anyway, we've got three of them, and uh, I guess this one's not hurting anything, so I'll probably keep it. It's nice to, to have them get filled up. Um, I emptied them last night, so there's really not a lot in there, and you guys have all seen how that works. We pretty much drive down. Uh, fills them up. The each station holds a hundred thousand. Trailer holds a hundred. So, if they were all three full like they were yesterday, you can haul three hundred thousand over. Uh, well, you know, hundred thousand at a time, three times over, and dump it in the trough. Uh, with two hundred and fifty head of cattle, right at. Uh, go into our statistics into the moo moos. At two hundred and fifty head of cattle. Um, we hit six day max capacity, which I didn't even know there was a max capacity, but we hit it at um, 495,000. Right now we're at, we're down because I've sped it forward another day. Big cheaters we are. Can't run this one at real time like we do our server since this isn't dedicated. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 495,000 with 250, so you can do the math. Just for simplicity, you could say 500,000, round it up a little bit. 500,000 for 250 would actually give you six days and it would stop you from putting any more. I ended up having a little bit left in the trailer, so that's how we ended up with the 300. I wanted to get get it out of the out of the trailer, the mixed rations out of the trailer, so we bought another 50 head of cows and it let me empty out the little bit we had left, like, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000, a couple thousand uh, liters. Uh, got the trailer empty. So anyway, we're at 300. Um, definitely want to add another 700, so we're about a third of the way to where we need to be, or where I want us to be for this farm. Uh, it says 0%, but that's because we just started the game up. It's probably going to stay that way for, I think it takes about 10 or 15 minutes. I, I don't know why, but it'll jump to, well, we're out of straw, so probably going to be like 80% or something like that, uh, which is not good, but there's nothing I can do. Definitely need to get doing a lot more on the straw side of things. Um, our pit is empty over here, and let's see. One of the other big things that we did, uh, besides a bunch of crop farming, uh, just a bunch of general chores around here since the last chore log and some during the live stream, uh, is I've finally reorganized the farm. We've sold off a lot of equipment. You can remember we had some trailers and a bunch of uh, uh, front loader doodads and all kinds of things. We kept one of our manure trailers, which next uh, chore log, we are going to sell manure. We're at like 100,000 in this one and like 300,000 in the biogases, <coughs> excuse me, as far as the manure goes. And so we have a lot of, of left that can go. And, and this, uh, well, here I'm making up the number. Yeah, manure, 100,000. Okay, I take that back. We're at about 200, 250 at at this one as well as the biogas, and this is 100,000. This one will go up to 350, I believe. It should go up that high. For some reason, it's stuck at 100,000. So I noticed it was there yesterday. So maybe it's got something to do with how many cows you have. I don't know. In our multiplayer server, we do get 350,000 on our solid manure, but I think it's capped out at 100,000, so anyway, we are going to go ahead and definitely sell that off because we need the money, and I'll turn my HUD back on. We've got uh, 407,000, uh, again, from selling a lot of equipment as well as, a lot of useless equipment as well as selling all of our crops at a good good prices with high demand. I mean, the wheat was about almost up to 1200 The canola was at 1400 so we got really good money. Of course, we're playing in normal mode. I've sold off a bunch of the front loader stuff. Uh, what, I, what you see here, I've kept. And in fact, I've talked about that blade pushing the bales. And one thing I realized that what might be a lot easier is that uh, next time, instead of using the blade, possibly... Uh, I don't know why it's not opening. Oh, I'm so used to forestry. There we go. I was doing both mouse buttons. I've been playing forestry lately. We'll talk about that too here in a second. But I thought maybe this would scoop it up more. So instead of having the bales pushing it with the with the flat blade where they end up going off to the side, you know, I could scoop and push them in with this thing. So I thought, well, heck. I know that's not what this was designed for, but it is kind of a nice scoop, and you can grab 
and push, you know, pile of bales and kind of feed them into that thing. So we may try that here in a bit. Uh, that That is what I decided to do. And I did keep the rest of the attachments just because they're, like, worth next to nothing. They don't really have much maintenance. It's not hurting us. But um, I moved them all over here to get other shed cleaned out. So this is kind of our little front loader uh, shed now. And this one over here, we're just going to have some various equipment. Uh, probably won't be a whole lot more. we got our little 1206 hiding over there, which can't really do water anymore. You've seen our new water. I think we showed this one off in the last one. Aiden, do you see a tractor around here? Uh, we got the, Oh, we got this one over here. Um, another thing that we've done, we'll look at all the equipment we've bought. We've purchased a bunch of equipment, and I ended up buying another one of these bale picker-uppers, which I definitely... I definitely don't want to leave it right here, but uh, for right now I'm going to. Um, and as I was kind of saying earlier about the bales, and look at Aiden knocked them all over. Whoa, got too much weight on the front. Um, what we're thinking about doing is, uh, I'm tempted to delete, the de you know, delete this uh, barn here and maybe put some more greenhouses, uh, since this is a placeable. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that yet, but uh, we really don't need two of them anymore. I, like I said, I'm not as concerned about getting hay and straw mix. We can put them in two different parts of the shed and, and uh, it should be fine. Um, okay, let's go ahead and hook up to our water trailer. See if I can demonstrate this. Honestly, cannot remember if this was whoa, in the last shore log or not. This is a 19,500 gallon capacity. Uh, it's got this really awesome little animation, which I'm sure I'll be able to show. I know they're going to take a, a little bit of water. I did fill the trough in a, a day ago, but... You can go up and you can hit R, uh, which starts unloading into the trough, and but there's no animation, so... It's, it's still there, just like uh, the regular water trailer, but if, on this one, if you hit Q, you actually get the little pipe that comes down, goes right in, and has a nice little animation of filling. And you can actually hook two water trailers behind, like we do in our multiplayer server. We we have so much... Uh, wow, they're actually taking quite a bit. We have so much... Uh, well, 5,000 head of cows, so we pull double double water trailer, and get that trigger still filling we can un unload at the same time it actually unloads faster than when it fills it's kind of funny now it's six days we'll let that thing fill up but yeah we ended up doing two trailers and then we took uh, and made uh, right adjacent to the trough we, we put two water pipes like so if you do a circle a nice circle you can uh, for instance, right about right about this far away, we got two pipes, one and two. And the reason we had to space them out from the trough is we don't want somebody to spam both of them at the same time and walk away because it'll and you could put 10 million gallons of water in and you know go through all our money. So we can't have the water pipes right next to the trough in the multiplayer server. But uh, so if you basically do one of these maneuvers right here with your double trailer and pull up, there's two pipes spaced accordingly so you can hit hit R and then G to tab to the back trailer and hit R again and uh, fill both trailers double the speed at the same time and then you go and dump them at the same time and um, that way uh, when other people besides admin are trying to fill in our multiplayer server they're able to get a decent amount of water in there uh, 39,000 gallons at a, or liters at a time instead of 6,000 and a few trips and they can knock a lot of water out. Uh, of course when I'm in there I'll still spot, I'll uh, put a ten dollar pipe in, uh, spam the uh, both the buttons at the same time and, and fill fill both at the same time and then uh, when it's when they get full when they get up for five thousand head it's about a million eight one million eight hundred thousand liters is full. It's a lot of weight on the front. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pull the sell the pipe for five dollars we get so it costs us five bucks to put the pipe in and get plenty of water for the cows so and we're running real time in that server and it's obviously 24 7 so if I fill it up I can literally go six real life days before it needs it again which is pretty cool 
Um, other than that... Okay, Aiden, where are you at? Oh my god, you're over at the yard? Yeah. Getting out the tractor? We gotta... Aiden, come back here. Holy cow! You're running this stuff. Back up. Back up and jump out of the John Deere so it's not, not so noisy. Oh, lost load. Eh, we're not gonna mess with that. In fact, um... Aiden, jump out of the tractor. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Okay, just leave it there for a minute. Just jump out. Okay. Uh, our JCB is having a problem as well as John Deere uh, walking from the shed here. In fact, Aiden may have found the fix. Just put it in frontwards. If you back them in, uh, they, they will not stay. Right now it's not moving. I'm impressed. Maybe that's the way we need to do it, is park them in backwards, which looks kind of weird. But uh, anyway, we're putting all of our tractors in here, uh, even though they're not really sorted out right now. That's where all the tractors are going. Over here, we have got uh, our crone trailer for the forage, the big X1100. And we're going to end up having a second one right there. We've got room for another uh, corn planter. I will probably end up buying another uh, big Amazon like that, too. But uh, we've got our f uh, fertilizers for both of those. We've got, um, like I said, we've got room, so we'll have all of our planters. I've got one extra uh, uh, axle here for our trailers, because we have gone ahead and purchased yet another semi and another trailer. So I can actually, since we've got three trailers, I could run a triple, and that's why I bought that. I probably didn't need to, but I have a double hooked up right now, and then the uh, other semi with the single is sitting at the mixing station because we kind of need to keep a semi in a, in a trailer over in that in that yard except for when like Aiden and I sold crops yesterday we had all three of them over here or all, all three trailers two trucks three trailers um, and then the other semi I think that's up at the wool pallet and Aiden is pressure washing <laughs> he pulled the truck over he's making sure everything's clean Okay, so we've got over here, um, I'm hot after getting another, uh, probably the quad track um, harvester, and that will be parked right here. We'll be able to put both heads over here, and I may buy another corn head, but I probably honestly won't. I think one is plenty, because uh, this is only really used for turning corn into cash, which we need cash here, but I also need to feed the cows, so I think one, well, I don't know. We'll see what we get. We're kind of waiting on a sale but uh, or money in the account which uh, we do have right now but we're using that for something else so that's what this shed will be for our harvesters and then I've got some general tools that I don't use a lot well the cultivator I do but plow we've got sitting over here and uh, got a couple of our little things just kind of sitting around I used to have the sprayer over here we've gone ahead and sold our sprayer just to get it out of here you know kind of get rid of some stuff and we're fertilizing with the little ones all at the same time that we're planting. We went ahead and got one of these on a little bit of a sale. I uh, bought a second one of these. I uh, just need to get it up uh, in the lineup so we'll have we have two of these big picker uppers. And uh, I brought our little four row wind rower and this smaller forage wagon that we used to have at the golf course with the 1586. I've brought that down to the main yard. We are going to go ahead and drive those over and sell them. And then I, I went and paid through the nose for one of these because I really need to keep one of these, like I said, at the main yard for moving bales and in, into the, um, the mixing stations. And yet I need one for out and doing field work. So really had to bite the bullet, spend the ninety-five thousand, and go ahead and buy it. But uh, these guys here are both going to get sold. Uh, didn't even use them. It was kind of a big waste of money. But uh, I, I went ahead and bought one of the big guys. I, I think these hold around forty. 30 something 40 these are 53 so that's what we're looking at, at the main yard uh, also with all of our chores we went ahead and bought a second one of these guys it was uh, well needed and I will show you why because I'm gonna set up a big train uh, I did in a live stream the other day in our multiplayer server of uh, getting all these configured to do uh, grass cutting and picking up at the same time. So we're going to get to that here real shortly. Here's our 1586. It will be used over for the potatoes, which we are going to start planting today as well. We've got the potato planter already full. However, uh, Aiden, do you have any idea where the Unimog is? Um, it's, uh, we'll go on the back. 
Did you drive the Unimog? Yeah. Oh my god. I had that all set up ready to go. Oh, put it in the back here. Got it. What do you get? It's stuck? Yeah. Alright. Well, Aiden's got the Unimog. I had the Unimog hooked up. The reason the Unimog is over here is we're just borrowing it this one time. I went ahead and have purchased a few uh, new fields. Uh, let's just have a look at our map real quick. Over here, we have got... Um, oh, these ones I'm still hot after, but I uh, don't got the money. We got 17 on an insane deal. Now, 17 is a field that I modded. This road is not here anymore, so basically the, what we paid... This field, if you got my map, is one of the, the best deals because I've combined two fields and deleted this road and made this all one long field, so you're getting a lot for your money. Then there was an auction on it uh, last night during that recording, but uh, we ended up buying this for like $65,000 we got it for, uh, which is a steal of a deal. It's a nice size field. So we got this one on auction. I also got this one on auction recently, which was awesome. Well, however, I cannot remember what I paid for it. And then I went and spent a bunch of money on these two little guys because I figured I think I'm going to do a bunch of corn around here so that we can chaff it and dump it right in the biogas. Uh, so I thought that would be well worth going out and getting these. These were not very expensive. And since I'm in the area, and then these will probably be all cereal crop. And then I had to cough up the money. I missed 18 on an auction, so I paid top dollar for these two guys. And I need to grass this one in. I didn't even realize we owned it. I, I remember a long time ago buying this for next to nothing on an auction. This needs to get grassed in, and I'll probably grass 37 too. Nice long one. All of this in grass. And uh, this one here I'll probably do some kind of crops. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll do grass there as well. I, I'm not sure. But these are going to be potato. My potato sheds. And then over here, I bought this on an auction a while back. Uh, this is going to be sugar beet area. And I don't know if I'll ever get to these fields or not. Maybe, hopefully, it's a nice field. But, um, of course, this 36 over here actually goes down like this. And 37 is all of this here now. This shed and all that's gone. So, but that's what we're looking at. So today we are going to get started planting. We've got a lot of planting to do. And I might as well get the ball rolling on that. What you doing, Aiden? I've got some jobs for you. We're going to be working on mowing. And I'm going to have you start feeding the sheep. You want to come and watch? Come over here on the 1586. Tap, tap in over here and you can watch the potatoes get planted. There you go, just jump out. So the reason again that we have the Unimog is because we bought this field, it is, you know, this obviously does not need to be cultivated. Normally this would be not the smartest thing to do as far as putting uh, such a large swath of fertilizer down for a, such a small... Aiden, watch out. Oh, you got in. <laughs> okay. That was so weird. I thought you uh, ran in front of me. This thing gets really goofy when you step in front of it or on top of it. But yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be smart to put down such a massive swath of fertilizer for such a small planter. But in this case, we're going to do it because uh, normally, like I said, I'll come through and cultivate this. And when you cultivate, that's when you'll fertilize. Uh-oh. <laughs> Our fertilizer is empty. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the closest place is for that. I think it's back at the other yard. Our potatoes are full. Yeah, I went ahead and put this over here and... I kind of forgot about I think there's a place to buy fertilizer in this city. Maybe I'm probably wrong on that. We better go up this way. We got a lot of planting to get done, son. Yeah. Kind of hard to see with this big box in the way, isn't it? Yeah. Oof. So yeah, it'll be a one-time thing, but normally, like I said, I'll come over with the uh, John Deere 
fertilize, cultivate, and then we're going to use the 1586 normally to pull this and uh, put potatoes down. It's a great tractor to have over there. I'll probably buy something cheap, cheap and, and large in size like that to do our uh, sugar beet. Oh, I can't even see. Aiden, hold on, buddy. We're going to go for a big ride. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to go back and check. That thing is full. Oh, yeah, okay. It's full. It's our full. Can't see our fertilizer that is empty at this point. Now it's filling it. And I'm wondering uh, what the box on this thing, if that's going to account for some. Nope, it does go to 100. 50, okay. Alrighty. We're going to have a helper paying for this. And that's the reason right there also why we don't have the manure mod in here all the time. We are going to do that in the next chore log. We're going to sell manure. I'm going to let let everything fill up a bit more first. Hope there's no rocks here. Oh, God. Um, but... If you have the manure mod, it causes your workers to use uh, seed and fertilizer, and then you end up having to babysit them. You can't turn a helper loose and, uh, and let them do your planting. Uh, run out of everything. So when you use that manure mod, you, you don't want to be doing any planting, which we won't be doing in the next chore log. We'll probably be doing a lot of harvesting. And then you can go ahead and uh, probably should have went the other way been quicker. Go straight. I forgot about that little road that goes up there. But uh, anyway, yep, so that's what we're going to do. We'll have the uh, big manure sale. We'll be hauling manure in the trailer, the, the solid stuff. We'll fill our greenhouses and s sell everything else that's in there because the cows are always pooing. And, uh, you know what, Aiden, I'm just thinking about it. That might be why we're stuck at 100,000. We're out of straw. They're not going to make manure if we don't have straw in there for them, so... Because that thing should go up to 350. Okay, we're going to turn this baby on. Oh. Oh. That'll, it'll get it on the next go-around. Oh, and yeah, don't forget your tail uh, daily. Turn them on? Yeah, I know. I'm not used to having such a small planter here, so we're going to have to get it moved over. I think the 1586 will do a fine job at this in the future. Yeah. Okay. And now we're planting potatoes. And we don't have a potato harvester. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to end up buying the big one. I think that's what we're going to end up using our money for, which, I mean, we're flying through it right now. It's going to be a very expensive operation, getting all these potatoes put in. Oh, but the good thing is, probably turn this up to 15 mile an hour, or that 40 will go. Uh, the good thing is, though, is that uh, these potatoes are worth pretty good money. Pretty neat to watch, isn't it? Uh-oh. He's going to miss some spots. That's okay. We'll have so much potatoes, we won't know what to do with them all. We could always go down the ends. Probably when it's done, I'll go down the ends and clean those up a bit. Definitely uh, wasting a lot of fertilizer on this this one, but... Uh, we'll just have to foot the bill this one time, because I don't want to go buy another sprayer. I'd rather just do it this way. I know what the the big the big Amazon everybody keeps telling me. Oh, there's there's one that does it for you. There's one that does it for you, and it's like I know it. Uh, you can get the Amazon that has the fertilizer built in, but this way works just fine for me. Uh, works really really good when you're using a uh, bigger planter, you know. And then with corn, it's the same way. You probably want to fertilize when you cultivate. Because the corn planters are kind of small. There he goes. Gets nice. This one over that spot twice. It's kind of weird to leave so much out, but... Yeah, it's just the Unimog that does it like that. I don't remember seeing the other tractors, but... 
Oh wow, big swath. I might have to, might have to manually clean that up a little bit. I just want to make sure he fertilizes over. We actually put potatoes down, even though we're overthrowing our fertilizer so much. Actually missed the spot over here. Okay, and he ended up going over the same thing. Oh, that's good. It's kind of, kind of monked up looking, but uh, just such a small. And this is a larger potato planter too. I think there's a smaller one. If I'm not mistaken. We bought this thing like two years ago on a sale, and uh, haven't used it. But this will be our potato area, and I think that'll be good enough. Uh, this is just a cash crop, so. All right, Aiden. Uh, I think you better press C and jump out. Okay, um, we'll let the helper go ahead and tab over to the main, uh, tab over to the mowers. And we've got plenty of grass. Do you want to get your mower? Get your mower out? Yeah. Get your other mower. Go get your little mower. You can bring it over here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start in on setting up our grass deal. Oh, we've got to get all of our pieces to the puzzle. Oh shoot, we we're missing. We we're missing something. Okay, we're gonna have one more like this. Aiden, let me get into that one. Okay. This is a one-man mowing army that we're gonna be doing here. Yeah. I mean, the other one. Too bad that we don't have. No, don't do anything. I want you to go get your little mower. You could start cutting grass and feeding those sheep. We're gonna offset to five, which I don't know why he insists on running in. Uh, we're gonna go. I think it's positive. Um, that's really bizarre that it's doing that. It's told to stay behind by ten, but it's. I think it's. I think it's because he's trying to get up behind there. Hey, yeah, go get your little mower and you can feed some sheep. Make sure you're picking up. So what you're going to do is you're going to offset this. What you can use right shift. It's probably easier to do it that way than to sit in the one that's behind you. And to keep offsetting, let's see, to 12. And we'll pull forward and make sure he does that. Because these are a 13 meter, so you want about a one foot overhang. Now you can see that's a nice, nice little uh, overhang there. And then we're going to grab... I hate having this equipment just sitting out uh, in the middle of our... It's going to kind of be in our way, but... I'm going to take our little tether here because we're not bailing. Bailing is really only good for one thing and that is storing your grass in your straw. Well when we have uh, so many places to put it right now with our mixing stations uh, we don't need to waste our time bailing. It's easier to just pick up straight grass, just dump it in and be done with it. And then when we get everything full then it definitely is uh, you know, going to be of course a good time to to go ahead and bale. Now this guy here, he's going to follow this one right here. But how he's going to work, we're going to tell him to follow behind 10. And hopefully it doesn't run in the back. Probably will now. We're going to tell him to follow half of 12 is 6 to the left. And now what you're going to get is you're gonna have if you pull forward keep pulling forward you should have them offset quite a bit and then he's gonna pick up he'll perfectly pick up that guy's row as well as my row so You'll have one cutting, and you could do this on a much larger scale if you got it like a playing the Kansas map or something. Um, in here, I even in Westbridge Hills, I think three would be kind of tough, but we've got some big fields there that are grass. We could do it, 
But in this map, I don't think you want to go more than two. These fields are not that, that large. Uh, maybe 36 or whatever that is over there would be okay, but... Um, so now we've got both of them cutting, and you got this guy windrowing both piles, and then the rest is pretty simple. However, for us, not so simple. We are going to skip that mission because that's just going to kind of monkey up everything we're trying to do here. Let's get back over here. I think I'm going to have to steal this tractor. It's so one thing I hadn't done is probably get enough tractors for what I'm trying to do here, but I hate leaving equipment sitting out. This is supposed to be in the shed over by the sheep. Aiden is picking up grass like crazy, and that's good. All right, we're just going to leave that there. We're kind of cheating a little bit. If you guys want to see another cheat, this is what I call it. catching some air. Ooh. <laughs> Too lazy to drive around. All right. I think I'm going to probably sell sell this ramp over here. I don't need it anymore. Oh, and speaking of ramp, we're going to go and pull this forward to create a breadcrumb. What's up, bud? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're dumping some grass. Um, one thing we did purchase is this conveyor mod, and we are going to show this. This thing is so slick that I went ahead and deleted my ramps because we're never going to need to use these for filling up our trailers anymore. It's too time consuming. So I deleted the ramp down there, deleted this one here, and now we can just use this, back a semi right up, and just fill them up right up to 100,000 and just empty these piles out. Makes it so nice. I've known about that mod for a long time, just didn't, didn't use it, and I finally got that put in our server. Uh, we've put our big tractor over here. Since we don't really use this for field work, we're going to use this for probably compacting purposes uh, as well as hooking up uh, the axle here, the tandem axle, to pull our trailers up over the piles once we get to doing uh, chaff so that we don't have to get our semi stuck anymore. So that is why that guy got moved. Uh, he has permanently stay in there, and then this trailer needs to actually get moved out of here. Probably won't be transporting uh, stuff around anymore. I purchased that conveyor picker upper as well as, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as the agar vector uh, for over here, which was a good bit of money for that agar vector. But this thing works so nice. They do make this where you can pull it with a trailer and a tractor, uh, which I think would be a big pain. And they also have the one for the Deutz front loader, but. I think this is a much better way of doing it. This thing has four-wheel steer. You can s turn it around inside the pit. And it also has four-wheel drive, so you can climb and just get around so much easier on these piles. And uh, it has a telescoping uh, fork, you know, it's a telehandler. So, uh, and another thing, if you're transporting, look how nice this is. You can raise that off the ground, tip that back, and it almost fits in there like it was made for that. And so you can transport this with, with so much ease and not it's not that tippy or anything of that sort. So highly recommend getting the version for the telehandler. Alright. And we are going back to the main yard to get our JCB that was supposed to be doing planting for us. In fact, why are we so many tractors short? Gosh, just never have enough tractors probably should get this thing planting corn now that I think about it. That's probably... Oops. Messed that up already. That's probably something that is uh, very important and needs to be done. For sure. How you doing over there, buddy? I'm doing good. Good. Sorry that we're not able to work together today. There's just so much going on on the old farm here. We're trying our butts off. Uh, they're probably well in the process right now. And I don't know... This thing here should be full. Okay, that was basically full. Should go plant some uh, sugar beet. Probably end up buying another planter when we get to doing that. 
I got another big job for you, Aiden, but feeding those sheep is always important, too. Yeah. Um, if you want to... Oops. Wondering why it wasn't filling. You want to come to the main yard? I don't know. This is a big job for you. You want to come? You want to? Are you happy doing uh, doing that, or do you want another job? What? Another job. You want another job? Uh -huh. Come to the main yard for a minute. Okay. You can use the big John Deere over here. Oh. This is going to be a big tall order for you. There he is. I see him around here. I think he was on that truck. There he is. Okay, come here, bud. This is a tall order for a four-year-old. <laughs> Alright, you see you see this windrower? You see this right here? Yeah. Okay? And you see this wagon? Mm -hmm. If you get that John Deere, do you think you can pull these over to the farm store and put them in the parking lot where we sell stuff? Yeah. Can you handle that? Just these. This one and this one, okay? Don't do this one. Okay? And don't do this one over here. Alright? Just these two. Can you do that? Okay. Um, um, this, this one? And yep. This one? That's right. Alright, go ahead and get started. That'd be a big help. Drive them over to the sell point. I'll, I'll sell them when you're ready. Alright. We'll see if he gets that one completed. And off we go across the map. I think I'm gonna probably see I wanna get a lot of corn put in. I think I think we're gonna start off our new field that we purchased on auction and probably do some corn over here. Now again, normally when I cultivate uh, these fields I would always fertilize because you're gonna overthrow a lot of fertilizer, but this field's already cultivated, so again, we're going to burn up some extra fertilizer. Uh, doing corn. That's the wrong button. There we go. Okay. I, I don't know if I can match this up. Let's go ahead and get this puppy started. Plant some corn over here. We need a lot of corn. We're going to chaff all of this corn and fill up our biogas. By the time this corn is done and being harvested, I'll have that fourth pit emptied out over there. What's up, bud? Oh, it won't hook up to there. Oh, it will. I, whoop. We have a front loader on the roof. Not sure what how this got here. Tornado must have picked it up. I did. Oh, you're my little tornado, aren't you? Oh, you got manure in the bucket. Should have go fill those greenhouses. That's another good job. Where are you here? You're in the main yard. Did you back up to it? You're not, you're not even backed up to it. Here, I'll help you on this one. Goofball. It should back up there with no problem. This thing here needs to be planting cereal crops, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I don't think I have... Well, Aiden, I'll tell you what. Go grab that little red tractor in there, the Puma. Go grab the Puma and use that. Where's your Puma? I keep forgetting I gotta go in this way. I'm gonna check this fertilizer. One of them is the old one. It should be full. Should probably yeah, it's this one. Now we're gonna have a problem. I do not see how I'm I gonna get hooked up with that thing at an angle. We're gonna try. Back the Puma up and get that one hooked up. That'll be a good one for you. Okay. Oh, good, we got it. And we definitely don't want grass. Let me get our fat tires on there so she looks really bad to the bone. Oh, brother. Kind of give it a jerk there. Gotta be a jerk sometimes. All right, back her up and hook it on, buddy. Keep backing it up. Hey, you got her hooked. Got that one hooked up. Yeah, we're gonna get this plant. It's bugging me not getting this work done. 
so we'll go ahead and get our planter a planting. Uh, we don't. What, what the heck? We don't want grass. Uh, yes, wheat. That would be perfect. Let's do wheat over here. We need wheat, and we are at oh, basically nothing. Got a little bit for the chickens. Canola. Honestly, we need wheat and barley for the straw. So I'm not going to worry so much about canola, but I am going to probably put some in. And the corn, I'm probably not going to do a lot of corn. I'm probably going to start chaffing all of it from now on. Um, but we do have corn. If we get a nice corn sale, there's some more money in the bank. But yeah, we had a lot of canola. I don't even remember how much. We had quite a bit, and it gave us a nice bunch of money. Okay. This one here, you do have to try to get pretty good. Uh, flip back to our planner. Unfold it. Flip back to that so we're not wasting while we're waiting. Turn that off. And turn that back on. And there we go. Looks like we're not even planting, but uh, we are. Putting in some good old wheat. It's cultivating and planting all at the same run here, which is super nice. Uh, but remember, we're going eight miles an hour, so you have to go to the tractor. And in this case, it's already on the level one. But if it wasn't, if it says that whatever the German word is uh, in the ES limiter, you want to hit one. I don't remember how to make it go back and forth. But uh, anyway, you want to make sure it says level one. Uh, mine always says 50% and then page up, page down, don't matter which way you go, just go one way or the other and back again and it'll snap out of its slow mode and it'll it'll do what it's supposed to do at 50% which again with the John Deere is 15 miles an hour and that's a nice planting speed. You can see how we have very little overspray with the, uh, with the bigger planter. Just a little bit, a few meters. So this setup works really nice. Not wasting too much fertilizer. And we'll probably check with our Unimog here. It looks like he's done. We don't need to... Definitely do not need to uh, fertilize. It got 100% fertilized. But what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to do a run right down here. That way when we have our harvester helper... He's not thinking the job is done just because he hits a gap like that. Might be something I'm doing wrong, but... Obviously, it's not... It's something to do with the Unimog, so... Okay, he doesn't want to plant anymore. Huh, that's interesting. Well, then we're going to go ahead and hit B to turn on our planter and do it manually. I tried to just turn on the helper since there's such a gap. We'll move over a little bit then. Did you get that job done, buddy? You got them both to the store? They're not both there? How come? Because I put the other one in the barn and I, and I got still tractor, still trailer, did it, did it, so did it, so did it, so did it, so Well, that's alright. That's a, just a big job. It is a big job. I thought you were out for the task. Alright, we're going ahead and planting. Going 12 miles. Oh, now we're getting the message. Better slow down. Alright, we could do more, but uh, I think I'm happy with that. Just kind of put a few on the end there. And uh, we'll go ahead and get her started on the next field up here. Lots of new fields to plant. It's kind of nice to have so much stuff planting at the same time.
Well, that's truly bizarre. Apparently, this thing has a glitch. Much like our harvesters do, I cannot hire a helper on this Unimog anymore. Oh. Hmm. I don't know, but uh, it won't it won't be too hard to probably manually fertilize that. So for now, I'm just gonna put this over here, and we're gonna go get the 1586. I just want to get these potatoes in, and I got plenty of time later. I can come back and just drive over it, do the tedious task. Not using care wheels on this, are we? Off to the races we go. Aiden is so busy over there. We still gotta jump back to our mowing. Boy, we're just all over the map, aren't we today, bud? Yeah. Getting all that farm work done. Getting all those chores done. All right, and let's see what's going on here. I feel like it's, I'm doing something wrong. I don't understand this. Hmm. I guess I can't have another helper going. Got two helpers uh, going right now. Um, I, I don't know. There's, boy, it's just been a long week. <laughs> a lot of headaches. Some big, big issues dealing with forestry stuff. And uh, so, yeah, well, I guess here, there we sit for right now. I'm not gonna fool with that. We've got all these helpers going over here too. I guess this may account for something uh, for sure too. I think that's what the problem is, but uh, that's fine. We can uh, work with that. I need to get... Eden, what are you doing moving all this stuff on me? We gotta put this back over here. We need to get... Um, later on we gotta bring our semi over here for a quick load. I'm probably gonna drive right up this pit, so probably get this in here, because we're gonna wanna back right straight up to it. I don't know where he dumped uh, what was in there, but um, holy cow. Okay, I need another tractor. And we luckily have one more. It's a big guy, but uh, it'll work. Whew, a lot of work, huh? Okay. Doing a good job. Are you going to come help me mow? You want to ride? Oh, you're kind of hot? Yeah. Yeah, these computers will do that. We even got windows open today. Well, we're just getting the last trailer in line here. I went ahead and brought the uh, brought the other one up. Grabbed this one from the sheep area. It has just a little bit of grass in it. We're going to do follow me. Now, these are real easy. All you got to do is tell them to stay behind about 10. And uh, of course, very important. Now we can turn it on, make sure it drops down. This one here, gotta turn it to 10. And uh, we'll turn it on. Now this guy that's been sitting here waiting, we'll turn that one on. And probably not gonna do the mowers quite yet. I'm gonna get into a Get into the edge over here and then we'll turn turn that on. But now everybody should follow behind properly. Providing we did everything right. Alright. Looks good. Turn mine on in a second here. So now this one we can go ahead and fire him up. We want to make sure also that we have enabled wide spreading showing. That means that you've got swath in there right now. That's very important. Um, and the same with this one. Turn our lights on for everybody. Hit number two for your speed. 
might be a little bit of overkill for what we're doing in this, in this size field, but I'll guarantee you one thing, we'll get her done quick. Everybody should hammer out the grass. We'll fill up those forage wagons pretty quick. Just gotta go smooth on your corners. Don't do anything too sharp and you won't have anything hit and get, get messed up. Now you could tell everything to follow a little bit farther behind you too and that'd be okay. Oh, and speaking of mowing, we got ourselves a mowing mission here. Let's make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to here. It looks really good. The front one's picking up when he gets full, and the back one will pick up. And now we got up to six in our multiplayer server, so we can go out and hit big fields of grass. And the, when the front ones fill up, they'll just keep filling up all the way back. And when the last one's full, then you're good to go. But uh, right now, we got to jump down really quick to our campsite. Took me forever to get there, but uh, fire this baby up. We're going to mow this grass real quick. We're almost done here. We're going to get a couple more tasks completed. Do you want to get your little mower and come over and help? You should bring your mower up there where I am. Oh, I got another wind rower here that I could sell. Oh, I think I have a... Oh, and I have a little pickup. I'll probably keep these because it's so far away, but the other one, I'm going to have so much grass around that golf course. Yeah, I just decided to go ahead and sell that. Which I don't... I don't think Aiden uh, <laughs> got this... I don't think he completed the task. Might have gotten one over there, but he left the other one, so... That's fine. We'll, we'll come back to that. Oh, good job, buddy. You got the one here. I'll go ahead and sell it real quick. Oh, 54000 Yeah, let's get rid of it. We need the money. Jump back over to here now. Turn on all of our safety lights. You want to come up here and... Uh, you can either sit in a mower... Oh, you got the Jeep. Okay. He's driving the Jeep around. Oh, you're selling the eggs. That'll work. Yeah, did you collect all the eggs? Uh, yeah. Oh, I can get more. Good, good. There's more now. They never stop. This is definitely the nice way to get your grass cut. I wish I had this for our yard at home. Go out there and be done cutting in about 10 minutes. Currently cutting about two acres of lawn with a dang 42 inch deck. Takes a couple hours, but it's, uh, it's, it's doable. cut all these fields, we'll have those things uh, filled up in no time. Okay, I took that corner a little too sharp there. Hopefully we don't get monkeyed up. Let's worry about the wind roar. Yeah, hitting on there, but they usually do pretty good. Yeah, he's gonna miss that whole swath. That's what happens if you cut them too short. Better round them off. I see we got one full already. Holy cow. Wow. I sure didn't take much. It's just crazy. I guess we're going to get the other one filled up and then we'll be able to run them both. Right over and cuz we're we're out of grass in the mixing stations. All right, 
right now we're just going to drive up here. We'll swing her out wide. Helps when you get the ends cut off and then you got a little bit more room to, to drive. And I'm already going in too far here. Kind of hard. There we go. Kind of messed that one up just a bit, but that's all right. We'll get her all cut. I drove up way too far. <laughs> One is tailing behind just a little bit, but that's all right. And uh, it's okay if they start leaving a little bit of grass when they get full because when you go to empty and you come back, you can manually pick it up. But I do try to keep an eye on them at least a little bit. We should probably be getting, if the one front one was empty, the other one had a little bit in it. Probably getting pretty darn close. I'll uh, go to the end of this little run here. And... Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, thank you. It's nice and now we're set up for the next run here. Yeah. So those are the only numbers that you have to remember. Let's go ahead and see how our trailers are. That one's definitely full. And this, yeah, they're both full. Right to the brim. How much uh, did we leave here? Well, it's still picking it up. Still picking it up, but you can see it up to the top there. Let's see how full it is. Oh, 99%. Wow, that was perfect. All right. This one was at 100, so what we'll do is we will control F to turn our helper, our uh, follow me off. And of course, safety lights. And drive them off to the cows we go. What do you think about that, Aiden? Coming up to our cow yard. Oh, I can't wait to get this field planted. It's tempting to do a big grass one like this. It's kind of kind of out there, you know, at the end of the field. It'd be kind of nice. But, uh, well, if you've been watching, uh, <clears throat> I guess we'll have a chat, too. Uh, as I have said in my live streams, we're only going to be going out to chore log number 13 for Farm Sim 2013. But do not worry. We will not be doing only 15 episodes or chore logs for Farm Sim 2015. But just due to time, we're not going to have enough time to get all of the chore logs done that we want to get done. And I'm also wanting to bring forestry and some other things to to the mix. Kind of messed up here. There we go. I'm close. I, I was a little bit far, far away. But uh, you can see the pipe filling up there. See, we'll go down to about 30 percent. Oh, okay. Maybe I can. Uh, well, I'll let his guy follow me forward. It won't hurt anything. I'm running to you. You're running into me. Grass is not accepted here. No, it is. I don't know why I only went 30%. I just filled that one up. I want to make sure that I have an even amount for all of these. Right control F. Stop that tractor. Deadness tracks. It's a terrible place to park mine. Look at that light. It was stuck on. That was weird. Let's see if I got about 30% in there. I'm gonna get this one going. Oh. Yeah, we're going to need more, but uh so I'm trying to do even even load on them all, but Why can't this a driver to We'll go Uh he's just sitting there. 
What about half? That one's pretty full. Whoops. How did I get over here? There we go, bump my key. Alright. And we didn't get much in there, but we're gonna keep cutting. But at least they all have about half. That one's almost full. Uh, that one's a little bit more than that, so I didn't really do that quite right. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go cut more. Obviously, we got that whole field, so that field will definitely fill all of these up, which will be nice, and it'll give us a couple hundred thousand more liters of mixed rations. Much easier than dealing with bales. Be nicer to have one more trailer because then you could fill. If we had one more trailer, we would have topped all these off. So. Might have to try to squeeze one of those in. And uh, we're going to probably have to buy another JCB because we're kind of tractor short around here. Um, let's go over here and grab our semi. Now that I've left so much stuff in my way. Oh, this is just crazy. Here we go. So yeah, we're going to bring, I'm hoping about six more farming videos before the new farming 2015 gets here. Um, I'm looking at uh, chore log 11, this one, 12 and 13. Uh, 11 will be, I mean uh, 11 will be now, but uh, 12 will be right around the 1st of October. And about the second or third week in October will be chore log number 13, the final one for this 2013. I'm hoping to maybe be doing one video in the multiplayer server just to show that. Kind of our progress and a final video for that. And what else? Uh, I'd like to bring about two forestries. Uh, if you haven't heard, we're using the regular Hagenstead map. Aiden, meet me over at the biogas. Bio? I'm gonna, yeah. That's where the. Uh, Oh, what is over there right now? We've got an agar vector. I'm gonna cut through here. So we're using the Hagenstead map, the regular Hagenstead, not even my edit here. And the reason being is because we don't have enough room on the server to fit in another modded map, and we didn't want to do forestry in Westbridge Hills. And I said, since uh, Hagenstead is a nice green map, and we're not doing farming, uh, the whole purpose is we were we have a company that was hired to do. A, a job basically a landowner bought all of this land and he wants us to come in with our forestry operation and our big uh, plows and whatnot and to turn the it's kind of like excavating in a way but to turn the uh, this old farmland that's overgrown with trees back into nice farming land so we're cutting down all the trees in the fields uh, he's letting us keep the logs for uh, our payment and then what we have to do is plow the fields back in the farmland so uh, we're using the regular Hagenstead map so that we uh, are able to look at nice green grass we've planted the entire map in grass or we didn't plant <laughs> the entire map is overgrown with grass which we may mow I don't know he does we don't know if he wants us to mow it yet but that's what we're looking at right now, and uh, it's it's whoa, it's been a good bit of fun. We're definitely enjoying it. Aiden, are you over here? Uh, looks like yeah, you're here. Good job. You know what job you got to do now, right, buddy? I'll get it set up for you. Yeah, that ramp would have been right in my way, so definitely deleted that. I used to have a ramp sitting right about where the truck is. Yeah. Didn't I didn't come up like I said I was going on that other uh, silo there. This is going to be a little bit more difficult. What you do is you back a trailer up, and if you're in single player now, you could actually push this and see how it's filling. You could set this up a little bit better, and if you're pushing straight back, you can actually shove or move the agar vector. I think a lot of people probably shove it. We're going to get that down off the ground. Alright, bud, do you want to... Um oh, does that look nice? It doesn't do that in multiplayer. It doesn't show that animation, but still works, still fills. 
So we don't care, you don't get to see the silage going up. Look at it, just hammering. Just hammering on the on the amount of silage. And we're too far away. Usually I have Aiden like either back up, kind of at an angle right now, so it's a little bit harder, or... Why don't you jump in the agar vector? Okay. Yep, just jump in it and sit there and I'll tell you when to pull forward. Let's get this stuff off the screen. So yeah, we'll definitely uh, be bringing some more farming. Go ahead and pull forward. And uh, we're going to do some forestry. We are going to add forestry to our server. Uh, the reason that we do not have it in there right now is because we were testing. I found the problem where in multiplayer none of the front loaders would work. All of the fork attachments, buckets, and so on would, would be stuck to the ground. They would not move. Aiden, stop! Stop! What are you doing? Stop! Get out! Get out! You remember? Hey, get out! <laughs> you gotta drive forward, not at crazy angles. Just back back the truck up. Back the truck up. Back the truck up. Back up the semi. Probably won't need to too much, because... There you go. Oh, stop! Stop! Boy, you're just... Oh! We lost Aiden. Okay, Aiden and I had a little problem with our recording, uh, well, the, uh, team speak, rather. We jumped into our other one here. You hear me, bud? Yeah. Alright, back up and running. Good thing that's why I like having multiple team speaks. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, we got our full- Okay, stop! Stop! You're shoving me in the pile. Pull forward a little bit. Mm. Can just leave it right there. Okay, jump out of that truck real quick. There you go. Alright, so that's how you basically fill up a truck. That is how you get her done, and we should be right at a hundred thousand, and we sure are. And now this can be... Actually, you could use this to dump into that trough, or you could drive over to the yard, uh, like I'm going to, and you could dump over there. Silage is not accepted here. And we got another mowing mission. We're just going to park this here. Um, we'll go ahead and accept that and take care of that. But for now, uh, we're going to go ahead and end this... This chore log, we got a lot of stuff done. That is how we're going to start transporting all of our um, all of our silage to make the mixed rations. And we're going to end another video in our silage pits. We've been spending a lot of time here lately, haven't we, bud? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun over here. All kinds of neat things to scoop and do. But uh, I can't wait to start filling it with chaff. And we should have some uh, all these fields here we're going to plant up in corn. So... I guess until next time, we'll come back next uh, chore log and more than likely we'll be doing manure. We'll have all of our planting done so we don't have to worry about the helpers. We'll uh, put the manure mod in, sell our manure, and then take it back out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, jump off of here. Aiden, do you have anything you want to tell our viewers? Hey, yo. You don't know? You maybe thank them, say, hey, thanks for watching our videos. Or Oh, yeah, I forgot it last night. Dang. Oh, what Dang. do you want to say? Thanks for watching our videos. Have a great day. Have a really great day. And uh, we'll be back here soon in the next few weeks. So until next time, everybody, take care. See you guys. Have a good night.